Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Haunts R Us podcast, the podcast in which we talk about our favorite haunted things to get spooked by, dolls. My name's Cheeb, and I love me a good haunted doll story. I also just love me dolls in general. I love me anything that's pink and purple, plushies, toys, knickknacks, I love it. I'm joined by my two co-hosts. Tell us a little bit about yourselves, ladies. I was having everybody. My name is Gato. I love all things retro. With the retro world, there's always a haunted Easter egg that I love to peep at. Uh, so you already know I'm about um, the spooky things as well as uh, dabbling into the curiosity of uh, dolls and that sort of thing too. As well as toys too and like that kind of thing. Possess things too. That intrigues me at times. All right, my name is Thadi. I make my own dolls. Uh, I'm pretty into haunted shit and oddities and stuff like that. Uh, I've also been harassed by a doll. A doll. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hi, my name's Thotty. I love me some dolls. I make my own dolls. And I love the spooks. Uh, I've been harassed by ghosts multiple times. And it was scary, but also kind of great. Mm. It's a very unique experience. I've never, I've yeah. personally never been haunted by shit, but like I I've been leave. haunted. I like groped on by a ghost, if that helps. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> I was just dozing off and it just gripped my thighs. Okay. <laughs> I see you. It's just like, now's my, my chance, chance bro. Give me a whole handful of y'all thickness. Oh, I'm shit. like, oh, no. Well, you. That's the thing, you don't stop being horny after yeah, the grave, that's how you know? Be, man. That's, just, that's just part of the human man, condition. You're horny on main, you're horny by on the grave, man. Too... Oh my god. <laughs> Hell it was a virgin, yeah. that was his unfinished real. business. And speaking of being horny... <laughs> Let's talk about... It. Is this episode brought to us by... Uh, by Adam and Eve? <laughs> this episode is... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not talking about those toys. Those aren't the haunted oh, oh. toys we're talking about today. Not in this podcast. Not right now. Perhaps in a future episode, we may talk about those things. But you folks will just have to stay tuned in. But tonight, we're very excited to talk to you folks about the queen, the legend, the absolute celebrity that is Annabelle Higgins, the doll. Or at least that's what the demon told us its name is. So it's safe to say that we've all heard about this bad bitch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Love that thought. About wildin'. Love that slut. All right, calm down. (laughs) She thinks it's fun. All right, for those of you that are uninitiated, I'm sure most of you are familiar with Annabelle the doll from the movies, particularly Conjuring. Annabelle comes home and all of that. Uh, I think it's important to point out that that doll was sculpted by um, Thadi. I believe you were the one that found out like who, what studio did like the sculpting and the special effects for the movie, correct? Oh yeah, they did. Oh shit, what was it? Uh, it's okay. No, Thank it's okay. Time. It it's was okay. Fuse, I think. I think no, yeah, it was. Oh, oh shit, no, I don't think we. Uh, yeah, it was Fuse, I believe. I could have wrong information because that might just be their uh what's it called the computer special effects but you know maybe shit (laughs) 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 i'm gonna say no all right let's start again we get ice cream (laughs) (laughs) it's all part it's all part of the podcast making process it's okay baby it's so oh no Oh, no, no, I'm baby. Now you're baby. <laughs> it's okay, baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's okay. That, that's why we have a sock monkey to edit out these huh, Okay, things. good. Okay, good. So I think a lot of us are familiar with the animal doll due to the movies that have been coming out. I'm, I'm particularly really fond of the Conjuring movie. Uh, I haven't watched any of like, the Annabelle titular movies where it's like Annabelle comes home and all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure that's where most people know her from, and that's a that's a completely different doll, of course. Though one on screen is not the one that's like on display in like the Warrens' uh, private museum. Uh, it's actually um, the f- the one. 
<laughs> yeah, get the wiggles out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the one in the Warren's house is uh, cute. Yeah, the one in the Warren's house is really cute because it's actually yeah. a really big Raggedy Ann doll. It's it's the most non-threatening thing <laughs> that you could possibly <laughs> ever... She's really cute, actually. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they did her dirty in those movies, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> In fact, uh, we have a picture of her up right now, and she's uh, in this little, what looks like a little religious outhouse, with her little <laughs> arms crossed. She looks like she's going potty. Oh, girl, just... <laughs> she's just taking a little dolly poop. <laughs> she's taking a little dolly This looks like when it's that time of the year, you know, uh, Christmas, and they got those little Jesus figurines. That's what she looked like, except it was just the Annabelle. Oh, like the 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 baby in the manger yeah, with the kings. Oh it's just Annabelle herself. I mean, yeah, she's well, queen. Oh, yeah, all God. Yeah, <laughs> she's really cute. I think she's a regular ass raggedy Ann doll with like the what is it called? The yarn hair, like long yarn hair. A little, a little eyes. A little white dress with like blue floral floral plan, pan, floral patterns. And like a little a little apron, like her little peeking bloomers and her striped little socks. It's just... Yeah, it's actually kind of adorable. I take that back. It ain't yeah, ugly, but like, yeah, I would buy that for my kid, but not the other one. Yeah, like I'd buy that for yeah. a kid too. Like it's it's really cute and endearing. Like I can't Maybe for myself. Too. I can't look yeah. at this doll and be like that shit's haunted. Yeah. I'm just like that's. Yeah. That's not even a doll. That's like a plushie, really. That's true. Which is there is a difference, which people do not know. Because she's like more of a soft toy, yeah, really. Like, like she's got little when you cuddle and die. So, like you put that on your couch, you put it on top of your bed, like you sleep with it. It's just like an extra pillow, yeah, you know. Compared to like a Barbie doll, you know what I mean? It's just hard plastic. You know what I mean? You can't cuddle with that Annabelle thing, the the actual doll itself. Oh, possess this color looking Dang. ass girl. She she strangles you at night with her little mitten paws. <laughs> with her little yeah. doll arms. I mean, <laughs> her piercing black button. Pierce the veil. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> Noel's gonna tell us this is a mess so we have to start all no, over. No, we keep it going. This is raw. This is Noel's gonna be like, you gotta throw the whole we thing away. We real as we can. <laughs> <laughs> gotta throw the whole computer away. That's what I gotta do. Alright, so she's cute. She's adorable. <laughs> she's adorable. She's nothing she's at all. She's adorable, and they did her. They did her dirty in that movie. Yeah, they did her pretty dirty on that movie. <laughs> Jesus. She's got like a tiny little neck and a small face. <laughs> With that big ass body. <laughs> She looks fucking terrifying. She looks like she's oh, tr- she's like <laughs> doing like a fake smile. Dude, it's like oh my god. <laughs> she's I don't like... know why they gave <laughs> they gave her laugh lines. Like yeah, why like... does this doll have wrinkles? Laugh lines and then like the wrinkles under the chin, like she's constipated or something. Bro, and they gave her makeup like a fucking harlot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, is man, that, girl? You gotta blend in that blush a little bit more, please. <laughs> Bitch, it's daytime. Why are you wearing bright ass lipstick? Yeah, man. What is Stop she... it. Like, I would assume she's supposed to be a child with like bright red lips. That's a oh horror doll. Oh yeah, they're saying that it's a child. Oh my god. That's that's a bad doll. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm like actually a, it's I've never really seen poor... like if your husband <laughs> brought that doll back to you to put in the nursery, you <laughs> like yeah. You'd be like, no, right? Him. I threw the whole husband away. What you talking like, about? Like, only, only a male would pick out a doll that ugly, bro. No. <laughs> For their baby. For their baby. It's like, doll, like, right? Yeah, totally. This is what kids like, right? <laughs> this bitch Little looks... girls love this shit. <laughs> this bitch looks like she got <laughs> soaked in coffee. <laughs> Jesus. I think my daughter will like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know my kids very my well. Loves decrepit old women. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry to the sculptor. Wait. Like that, the animal doll is like it's the chop. It's scary, but it's definitely scary. Oh, you got, you got. That's but... like some suspension of disbelief that anyone would yeah. bring that thing home <laughs> for your kid. For your kid of all people. Jesus. 
That's the only thing I know about those movies is that there's a pregnant lady. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah. There's um, it's different, right? They didn't like get the story right. I haven't seen it. I didn't study. I just know like the actual story. <laughs> the true facts. Yeah, speaking of which, uh in the in the movie, like the ghost like or the demon, should I say, like upgrades to like homeowners as opposed to the story where it's just like a bunch of 20 somethings in an apartment you know yeah you gotta start out your demon career pretty small (laughs) you gotta you gotta move up to the big leagues you gotta start as a cashier (laughs) you gotta start as a cashier and hella burger (laughs) and then maybe then maybe you could get like an apartment with like two 20 something women Jesus. Oh my god. Who what kind of stupid ass demon is like Yo these bitches <laughs> Yo these bitches easy yeah. scares. Easy. <laughs> They'll totally I'm, trust me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gain well, my I mean, pitchfork this way. <laughs> oh fuck. I mean he's not wrong. This bitch is stupid as fuck. If they're real. Yeah, if it's real. If uh, it's for those real. of you that don't know. The actual Annabelle story starts in the 1970s. Um, the mother of, I believe, Donna. There's a, there's three characters in their stories. There's Donna, there's Angie, and their friend or fiancé of Donna, Lou. Uh, you'll find like in uh, various retellings of the stories that the names change. Uh, because I would assume that these uh, these people want to stay anonymous, so like the names change. Uh They've never been uh, asked for interviews or anything, so like the only um, documentation we have of this phenomenon is a, uh, from the Worms themselves. Uh, we don't know who these people are or where the apartment was or any of that, which kind of raises uh, some concerns, yeah, right? Definitely, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, but like at the same time, like uh, I also think that they might have wanted like keep their privacy, like yeah, it's... yeah, man. It's bad enough they have like ghosts <laughs> up on them and shit. Now they want like celebrity and press on them. Like, bro, bro, I've been possessed. Yeah, I don't want I no paparazzi. Say, like, look at how much money there is in that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Warrens out there making all that money. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I don't think they want to be harassed by a bunch of like podcasters for an interview. <laughs> it's like, yo, tell us about the yo, tell us about the haunted doll though? in your apartment. Tell us, man. Tell us. Man, it's like that scene. I think I think it's the new Halloween movie, the one with uh. With the guy that wears the mask. <laughs> That's all of us. <laughs> oh, Jason. Uh, uh, Jason. Maurice. Uh, the it's, other one. It's Michael, Michael something. Michael Myers. Oh, Mike Myers. Yeah, the uh, one with Star Michael Myers and like the newest, uh, the newest movie. Like he Star kills a, Trek. he kills like a murder podcaster, and I'm just like, I don't even feel bad. Fuck that guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those murder podcasts. That's how it's gonna be, man. All we right. try to harass the Warrens, man. <laughs> yeah, don't don't be harassing no one, podcast. Bro, oh, our shit. shit man. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to call the Warrens all kinds of dirty names. They're gonna get me. <laughs> I think it's important to note that uh, the Warrens have both passed away. Oh, the well, they're gonna get me. <laughs> Beyond the grave. Drag of sis. <laughs> right, we're gonna cut that part out. Let's not... Oh, shit. <laughs> we're just gonna cut that part out. My bad. <laughs> we ain't getting cancelled tonight, girls. Oh, gee, no, dude. <laughs> They're gonna get me from beyond the grave, dude. You know what, actually, first of all, if you're such a fucking... If you're such a fucking ghost person, how come you don't come back how as come a ghost? You don't come back. Yo, tell us. Oh, you can't you can't say that, man. You know what? His their son like listen, like if you're I feel like if I was the kind of person that was like, yo, uh this is like I decided what was a ghost yeah. and what wasn't, and I like truly believed yeah. in ghosts, I would try very hard after my death to to reach someone via ghost ghostly manner. I think I would so too. How oh, about you, Gato? Would you try to no, no, oh, I think I would. No, I think, yeah, that's to answer your question. Yeah, I would try. But I think as a ghost realm, I think it's more complicated because you're not physically able to do the things that you would do. Like, it's it's a different realm. It's a different world compared to, like, us. Like, I feel like your, your soul or, like, your spirit has to be, like, in dis- complete distress in order for you to come back into the realm 
Because I, I noticed there's not really many uh, positive ghosts out there. You know, there's always, like, the sad ones who has to come go back to the realm. I believe, like, you get reincarnated and then, like, I think that's it. You get reincarnated if you're happy? No, no. Yeah, I think you get reincarnated depending on, like, wh- what shit you did. <laughs> yeah, that too. But I also think that sometimes, I <laughs> Look, think maybe I you have a, a choice because then people just remain as ghosts. Which I don't think is a choice because then you're, like I said, you're distressed mm. by something, and then they have to figure it out why. Like that fool on the chair, ghost, on the uh, c- the conjuring, c- conjuring, the chair. conjuring, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that they uh, go back where they belong in hell. <laughs> but yeah, I do think that like if you're a ghost, it's usually because you have unfinished business. Yeah. I think if you lived a good life, you're just like, man, fuck these guys. I'm going out. I'm out. I'm about to head out, bro. I'm being all polluted and everything. I'm not coming back here either. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. <laughs> like, Wait, what if you out. come back? <laughs> what if you come back as like a protester ghost? As a what? As like a protester ghost, like a, a ghost protester. protester. <laughs> yeah, like what? If... So we what reincarnate as anonymous. Like, what if you just like whisper? No, no, <laughs> anonymous. <gasps> is that what anonymous is? Maybe just, they're just ghosts being like, "Yo, this is what we can, this is what's gonna happen in the future." No, like if <laughs> I would like, like go up to the president and like whisper sweet nothings, like. Just that? Yeah. <laughs> you just call the no, president no. a thought? <laughs> no, I said fucking stop. Like, oh, stop. fucking stop, not fucking thought. Yeah. Like, you weren't calling the president a thought. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I'm that's a, a missed opportunity. Oh, uh, jeez. No, thought is a good name. I call myself thought. No, I just mess with them. That's just it. I think I would, um... Nah, just, like, have some fun, move some <laughs> yeah, shit around. Yeah, if I see someone having yeah. a bad day, I think I just whisper... <laughs> Some sweet things like, hey man, you got this. <laughs> Ooh, that that's you know, like however ghost sounds, you know, pickpocket person, you know, and then just give them the money. And buy yourself something nice. Oh god. But anyways, <laughs> anyway. as I was saying, um the Raggedy Ann doll was a small gift from Angie's mother for like graduating from her nursing degree. And she she seemed like she like was really pleased by it. Like, I'm a doll collector. I think Raggedy Ants are pretty cute. Me, personally, I collect, like, a lot of Monster Highs. I mean, those kind of fell out of style. They kind of just look like Teddy Color Brad <laughs> dolls now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I acknowledge it. I, I know we're prob- I know Monster High is problematic, I guess. Plagiarizing, yes. <laughs> but, you know, compared to that, like, Raggedy Ann, that shit's wholesome. <laughs> I mean, at least Monster Highs aren't fucking haunted. As- not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, shit, bitch, not yet. Not yet. Are they still Are relatively they? new? So like, I, did they come out like in 2010? Was that when they came out? Right, we're, <laughs> we're not. We're not going to listen to me info dump about Monster High on this episode <laughs> because I will oh, info shit. dump. She will do it. Out. We will redirect this whole episode. I don't mind. I'm just curious to know what year <laughs> we're talking about Monster High. Now. Yo, fuck it, fuck Annabelle. It's, it's all about Monster High right now. <laughs> Tell me about Scalera. We done. Can Annabelle's canceled anyway. Up there. Her yeah. name is Kalina Calaveras. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her family oh and she God. loves fashion. <laughs> oh Jesus! I think <laughs> I think that's the synopsis for every single Monster High. Is I love X and fashion and fashion. <laughs> Above all, else, it's like us. I love X and haunted dolls. <laughs> I love X and wearing clothes. <laughs> what, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, raggedy doll, raggedy ant dolls are like pretty wholesome comparatively. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we can't have nice things, can we? No, we that can't bitch have, gotta be. We possessed. can't have nice things. The moment we get, we're given something nice, something bad happens. Yeah, apparently. Uh, the curious thing about this particular Annabelle doll is that they would, she would notice that she'd put it on the bed. And then she'd go to work, work her like what, 12, 14 hours? Nurses work a yeah, hell of a lot, whole man. Labs. I thought she was a student. <laughs> and she she graduated, so I assume back in those oh. days in the seventies you could just get a job out of school. <laughs> yeah. Like that's just how it was you back a then. House, like, within a <laughs> oh, she owned a house good. as well, right? No, she had an apartment. <laughs> well, I mean that's more than I got. 
Yeah, she had an apartment with like a roommate. The dream. Yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> Most of us are just hoping to get that way. Yeah. It's like I just, just want to like, share oh, rent with someone. Just share rent with someone and my haunted doll that's not paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> it's fuck Annabelle. She exactly. has bitch. fucking mooch. <laughs> Goddamn leech. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mooch. <laughs> just uh, just like walking around the house like you own the goddamn place. Exactly possessing <laughs> things and shit. The fuck you think you are? Goddamn. <laughs> Trying to strangle my guests. <laughs> my guests, yeah. We'll get into that shortly. But uh, the first signs of, like, hauntings that they got from the Annabelle doll were that it would move around from place to place. So she'd place it on the bed. When she came home, it'd be on, like, on, on the couch or it'd be on the floor. There'd be, like, particular, cl- particular cases where they'd come home and the doll was standing just straight up. And this is a rag doll, mind you, so it doesn't have any joints. It's just full of stuffing. That's nasty as fuck. Mm-hmm. It's nasty I heard that. As fuck. I don't like it. I don't like that. Yeah, so get it away. It's some like pretty spooky stuff, but you know, as as some of you are familiar with like things that are haunted, you're just like, well, that's strange. I better go and make myself some dinner because I don't have time to process this shit right now. Yo, don't fucking call me out like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm know sure. my story. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure, like, small things like that would happen. It'd be like, huh, that's weird. Bro, I'm really I'm hungry fucking... right now. <laughs> Bro, fucking doll standing up in the middle of a hallway <laughs> just is not a little thing. That's a grown like, woman at that <laughs> point. <laughs> I don't know, if I saw that, it'd be like, hmm, I just got off of a really long shift at the hospital. I don't want to deal with this right now. I might be hallucinating. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Shit. That's it. I think that's a pretty common one. It's like, you see that shit? I'm just like, I'm just seeing shit right now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm go to bed. <laughs> I've been working way too many hours. I'm it's just fine. gonna... Mm. I'm just gonna ignore this. No, you're right, I could though. be in that's intimate true. danger, that's but fine. I need sleep. That's that. What was that? I know what I said. But yeah, oh, another uh, anyway. peculiar thing was that the doll would uh would leave little notes around that would say help Lou or save Lou or things along the li- along those lines uh and Lou was depending on the story she was Donna's fiance or just uh or just a friend of Donna and Angie uh it depends on the story like I I like to think that that uh, Louis was like Donna's fiance because it's like oh this is his little boyfriend. But then it's like why don't they live together? <laughs> or maybe they do live hey. together, but like they don't want they don't want to like put that. They're just like un- unwed couples living together. I can't have that in my Christian occult <laughs> museum. <laughs> can't have it. Mm. Haunted have dolls, it. demons. Unmarried maybe. couples living in the same apartment. I can't Simple. Maybe premarital Disgusting. sex. Not I can't in my museum. Phantom. That idea. <laughs> at all. You're bringing up new lore, dude. Maybe that's what it is. They were like, that's too scandalous. It's a little too, that's scandalous. too scandalous. Demon doll. An unmarried Fine. couple living together. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> a Fuck. sin. Women not wearing. <laughs> fucking turtleneck women at work oh that's what it was and oh the fucking demon Maybe she was, was just like a racist or something you know was punishing her <laughs> annabelle was a sexist <laughs> and racist that could be like a thing too <laughs> the... <laughs> Sex. it's like how dare you have a job and leave me alone what am i supposed to fucking do all day <laughs> exactly. it's like where's your husband to work while you be at home to take care of the kid and me yeah like that bitch is so entitled <laughs> and me yeah, like, why, what makes her so special just because you're a doll god <laughs> oh, damn shit. i'm gonna go off on this bitch <laughs> <laughs> hold my hoop this is our <laughs> damn hot take already co- you're ready to fucking cancel you're already ready to fight this to drag drag her. <laughs> you're like take her out of the case i'm about to <laughs> we've been to scrap dude <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> she would leave it notes happened. everywhere. Yeah, she would <laughs> leave notes everywhere, being like, you better marry that fucker. I ain't gonna see you guys <laughs> living in the same apartment and not be married. I'm gonna kill that bitch. 
<laughs> Even the demons like, whoa there. Unholy. 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 Y'all need to get married right and have there. babies. Y'all need to be married. <laughs> yeah. just, like this bitch had something against the husband. Like even the demons like, yo, I might be Luke. like some spawn from hell, but y'all are unmarried and living in an apartment together and I just can't have that. Not even the demon would move in with his exactly. demon girlfriend like, before no. they were married. You <laughs> know, of... like is that all it takes is to be a fucking sinner? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, are we all haunted right now? <laughs> Yeah, you have to, like, invite sinful things in order for, like, cursed or demonic objects to come near you. So, new lore. <laughs> the deepest I have lore. a lot of unprotected sex, guys. <laughs> I'm a lesbian. No, oh, girl. Shit, not unprotected. <laughs> girl. No. girl. Oh, yeah, that too. Uh, Thoughty. I'm a lesbian, so I yeah. think that's probably no. why ghosts are forever gonna haunt me, dude. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Women on women can't have that. It's like... <laughs> Like both of both of y'all are queer. I'm the only straight one here. <laughs> y'all both got demons. Oh, right. <laughs> I have been haunted. Dude, That's why <laughs> we got groped. That's why we got groped. They're like, mm, no. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> or maybe sin. it's like a, a like a queer ghost. Like maybe that could be the case. It's like from like ghost? the fifties who couldn't Dude, like be out. openly out there. So they're like, I could have my chance with you, and I'm like, no. No, that's still <laughs> rape like, no, though. No, I can't. That's still I like this like, lore though. I would you would call that like a, like a vintage <laughs> gilf. Like, would that be the case for like <laughs> a vintage gilf, gilf? or milf? A vintage because milf. I think it's yeah, just a milf. Okay. Yeah. yeah, a dilf is like a male a dad. A, no, a dad. Daddy. Gilf, like yeah. grandma. Mm. Oh, ghost. I'd oh, like yeah, to fuck too. Hey, oh, shit. New, new words. New game. We did it. You, we we did it. <laughs> you completed oh, a whole thought. <laughs> We've just... We transcended. We have new man. vocabulary. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Annabelle, she's a kill. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she is not. <laughs> she's thick as fuck, boy. <laughs> she's a very big doll. <laughs> Yo, she juicy. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're not she talking about there. We're not lunch. sexualizing a ragdoll today, uh, Thani, <laughs> Hey, I signed up <laughs> to talk about Annabelle the doll and how thick <laughs> she is. Compared to the movie versions, where it's very skinny. Yeah. And she's That's not showing cool. any bloomers, so... Yeah, man. Society mm-hmm. is just degrading women by, like, fitting to, like, beauty standards and shit. Like, what happened to those curves, man? <laughs> happens <laughs> i don't know what the fuck you just <laughs> said i didn't know what i said <laughs> but yeah yeah i yeah, agree with you but I yeah agree. man can get behind yeah. it for yeah. real bro <laughs> when she comes out we should just say yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah man. man go on go damn off. gotcha <laughs> damn go off. you really did say a thing <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I'm so, oh, I, I'm not excited to hear all my fucking weaving. <laughs> it's like, this bitch thought got asthma. <laughs> Let's sponsor her and she can get herself an inhaler. And then, oh, for Jesus. me, they're gonna give me, like, a tutorial on how to properly use this Brought computer. to you by... <laughs> Brought to you by Geek Squad. <laughs> Are you a stupid boomer, bro? Yes, I am. <laughs> You know, know how to, how to download Audacity on computer? I do not know. <laughs> no, 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 no open. open. I click and no work. <laughs> I just can't. Oh, Jesus. But speaking about this, uh, this, uh, the sins that are happening in this, uh, yeah. apartment two women and one man in one, in one apartment and. Uh, Lou oh, happened to be like a really big victim of all of like the bullshit that Annabelle would like pull around the house. But like it's kind of weird that she would like leave messages to Lou, just be like, "Hey man, I'm about to get you." <laughs> she didn't like him, <laughs> or maybe she's just, like playing innocent, just like help Lou, and she's like, "I'm about to fuck him up. I'm about to scare the only <laughs> man away in this fucking apartment. <laughs> I'm gonna scare the <laughs> shit out of Lou," which she did. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> there's a 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. She did a thing. She, <laughs> she scared the she, fuck out of Lou. She scared the fuck out of Lou. Lou didn't uh, trust this doll at all from like the moment he saw it, which seems like really weird because it's like not even like a threatening looking doll. Maybe Lou did it. M- maybe it was maybe Lou. Lou. Maybe Lou was like, yo, stop fucking getting dolls. I'm trying to marry you. I'm not trying to marry no weirdo with dolls. I saw, like, an episode of, like, My Strange Addiction, where it's, like, this lady had, like, this little baby doll that she would, like, carry around, and it was, like, she would treat it like her baby, and, like, her boyfriend would be, like, I mean, yeah, I guess, and then, like, she made him go into, like, a baby store and pick out clothes for, like, the doll, and he just, like, wasn't feeling it, man. Maybe that could have been the case. He just didn't have the guts to leave her, but then it was, like, the doll was, like, I'll help you, and then that was that. He's like, I'll help you get married, <laughs> you demons. demons. <laughs> I thought I was the sinner. By a traumatic experience. <laughs> but yeah, Lou, that's kind of, a, kind of a silly name. Lou had himself like a bit of a spook, one would say. Who? Lou. <laughs> Lou Who? had the spook. Lou got the spook? Lou had a spook, yes. Lou was a spook. How did she spook him? I'm getting there, Thotty. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am about to tell you and our beautiful audience how Lou, Lou got spooked. Let's hear it. Yeah, what, what's up? How did Lou get spooked? <laughs> My limit here. I'm getting real sick and tired of all the stupid things going on around here. I'm sorry. I'll shut up. I'll take okay. a sip. I'm a sip. Hold on. I'm a sip. What? Take your sip, boomer. It's not. I know how to use a computer. <laughs> I... True. So Lou had a particular experience where he experienced uh, sleep paralysis, and in this dream he woke up. But obviously, like you got sleep paralysis, you can't fucking move. And uh, what he saw was he saw Annabelle herself crawling up his leg onto his chest, and and smothering him. I suppose would be the best word. I don't think choking would be correct because I mean. I don't think you could get choked by a ragdoll, bro. Well, <laughs> like, she could, like, flop her body onto his, like, nose and, like, try to suffocate him. <laughs> but, uh, I think in his dream it was very much like there was hands on his throat and a pressure. Did they say it was a dream or that it actually happened? Uh, he was convinced a- afterwards that, like, it actually happened, but it sounds like it was, uh... A bit of a sleep paralysis, you know, because he said he w- he wasn't able to move, and mm-hmm. after it happened, he like blacked out and he woke up again, and like the doll was like thrown in the middle of the floor or in one of the corners of the apartment. I mean, maybe both. I think what was it? Don't demons like do <laughs> sleep paralysis? Like make you have sleep paralysis? Yeah, that's like that's like the old timey tales, but I mean, like you also well, just like <laughs> hallucinate when you have like sleep paralysis. So, I mean, like if he's already scared of like a fucking raggedy Ann doll, <laughs> which he very well might have been. That's true. Yeah, like that could have just been like a spooky thing. Like the shadow man was like on vacation that day. Like he had to have like coverage. <laughs> Bro, don't talk shit about I mean, it was also, like, <laughs> back in the day me, when, no. like, acid was pretty, like, out there, so... Um, Maybe it was all, like... Do you think like... acid causes, like, sleep paralysis? Uh, well, I, don't know. I think, like, I think... <laughs> it's pretty common within, like, heroin addicts that they do get sleep paralysis, though, isn't that true? Yeah, and back in those days, they did that, too. They shoot up heroin and did acid, so I think that could have been... <laughs> yeah, and, like... You know, demonic or sinful activity attracts, like, demonic things. So, like, we don't know what Lou was up to. Yeah, maybe he wasn't pure and holy after all. I mean, he's unmarried. Maybe he wasn't such a good guy, you know? know, Like, mistreated. 
the lady maybe what was that maybe he was animal maybe it was just time. him he's <laughs> just... stop this i don't that theory is stupid beating himself up <laughs> oh geez. Like, i hate myself oh, why no. am i not married and he yeah. just like beats himself up it's like it's the doll <laughs> it's the fucking doll it's like i just can't marry her bro and i can't like, say no I'm to not her about that so then i'm just gonna blame it on the doll <laughs> problem solved bro no i'm telling you that's what it was man or it was like he just he know. just has to keep an excuse as why he can't marry like yeah he's like it? no donna <laughs> donna diana no it was donna donna was the one that donna. received the doll angie was her roommate but like angie doesn't really fucking do anything in the story <laughs> besides be the roommate i stand oh, geez. at least in not in any of like the iterations that i've been in, that i've seen most of it is like between donna and lou so I don't know what those two were doing, like an unwed sinful couple, I yeah, suppose. I did. What a bad roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe they were just both on drugs. She was a nurse. Oh, that's true. She could have brought home it's like true. oxycodone or something. Codeine. Yeah. Well, it's the seventies. No one's fucking checking. That's true. Yeah. No I mean, they're... See? Cameras? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> the roommate was just like, yeah, fuck yeah, those it's guys. Like, oh, it's like this home. Mm-hmm. She's like, I don't like them. Bunch of yeah. druggies. I'll sell it to my neighbor. <laughs> Put your fucking drunkies in this house. You know, pay Nasty. rent. Which yeah. is sin. One of the the last straw before they got a medium was that like one day. Um, hold on, let me read up. Yeah, uh, one Don one night Donna came home to find the doll had been moved again. She'd be used to this. She's just like, I'm gonna make myself some mac and cheese, whatever. <laughs> doll moved. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool. It's like, okay, man. <laughs> it's like this shit just happens. This shit's just bro. like you know roaches in your house. Like it's just normal. You know she's just vibe. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this time something was a little bit different. She could sense a uh, bit of fear come over her when she inspected the doll and saw that it looked like there was blood drops on the back of its hands and on its chest. Now I don't know about you guys, but when I look at this cute little portal potty with a raggedy ann doll in it i ain't see no blood on it like <laughs> blood stains are pretty hard to get out of fabric mm-hmm. right did they have oxyclean in the 70s <laughs> just the warrens like took the doll and like put it in the washing machine before displaying it's like fucking dolls are dirty <laughs> and they shouted shit. out the fuck <laughs> oh shit but I mean, also, like, she might have, like, cleaned it up, too. Like, she's just like, ah, my haunted doll is bloody. I can't have this. I better go down to the laundromat and, like, wash this bitch just, out. What the fuck do you tell to people? Like, oh, yeah, just... Oh, you know, some blood. Kid fucking got a nosebleed on my I doll or what? Like, That's, that seems completely plausible. I mean... Okay, <laughs> like, kids are gross. Oh, yeah. Fuck them kids. How dare my child get Because mm, he lives in an apartment in the 70s. Mm. And she's a nurse. She knows how to get rid of, like, blood, right? Uh, I don't think about cleaning. You would think that she would keep it on there just to, like... As evidence, more right? Yeah. Who the fuck's blood was that? Oh, you know. Just... Oh, you know. Someone. someone. Sometimes you just bleed. But, but, <laughs> on a doll? Sometimes dolls just bleed, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. She fucking had the stigmata on her hands. Mm. <gasps> it was a Jesus doll. It no, was it was not. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're gonna invite demons onto this podcast, bro. You can't say shit face. like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not Catholic. I don't know what. Yeah, it. the blood drops were on the back of the hands and the chest. So if it was stigmata, it would have to be on like the hands and her little feet. <laughs> um. All right. Never mind. I don't know. I'm not down. Uh, uh, I don't know the lore of the Bible. You don't know the Bible. No, I, someone's I read not the Catholic notes. Like enough. I'm not Catholic. This, this is why I don't get groped by demons. <laughs> it's because we both don't know God. <laughs> Y'all didn't God, go to Sunday school, bro. Sunday school didn't like Ooh, straight us. up. Yeah, straight up. I was like, oh, that boy's cute. So is that girl. And they're like, ew, get out of here. I, I like. I, <laughs> I remember I cried once at Sunday school because I didn't want to be there. 
the fuck does want to be there? You're missing Powerpuff Girls. Right. Gag. I remember it was because, like, my family had rented out, like, Austin Powers, and I really wanted to watch Austin Powers instead of being at Sunday school, so I started crying in class. (laughs) Yo, I I went to Sunday school, and, like, I had a a Shakira shirt, and then they gave me shit for it, because it's, like, what she does with her body, like, it's not what women of God should do. And I was Move. like, oh, I like Shakira. <laughs> I know. That is cool, man. <laughs> Lonely bitch. No one likes you. That's why you fucking hate on Shakira. Goddamn. Oh, man. Grow some I taste, know. bro. Shakira, Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> exactly, man. It's back in 06 when she was at her prime. You know what I mean? So, what the fuck's she hating on, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's bars. Make a man want to speak Spanish? Como se llama? Bonita? Fucking exactly, bars, man. dude. Ahead of its time, man. Like, if she was hating on it, the audacity of that woman. Absolute audacity. audacity. Hey, like this app we got brought to you by Audacity. Hey. <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> okay, that's, that's enough math for now. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I remember, like, I was called to, like, the pastor's office, and, like, what was that? (laughs) Yeah, I was called to, like, I guess the principal, I think he was the pastor, I have no idea who this man (laughs) was. The The head priest. The high priest. (laughs) The high priest. (laughs) The medicine man. No. I guess he must have been, like, the principal of, like, Sunday school, and he just, like, asked me... No, I didn't. I did not speak to the Pope. That's lit. Hell yeah. At Sacred Heart Sunday School. (laughs) I thought you went to church at the Vatican. (laughs) Didn't we all do that? Yeah, Vatican, the church. That's that's where the Catholics go. Like they have to go to the Vatican every Sunday, right? Yeah, right. You get the true Catholics. I guess I'm not a true Catholic. I've never been to the Vatican. (laughs) <laughs> no man i don't know what the fuck goes on in catholic anything i watched veggie tales and that's it yeah univision is pretty yeah, catholic man. have you seen Univ- la rosa de guadalupe <laughs> except for castle cerrado don't watch that garbage <laughs> it would be cerrado. nice if i knew any bit of spanish you don't know any spanish dude no. It's, I understand my mom, but you guys, you guys are from a different, or your family's from a different country. I don't understand what you guys are saying. We're from Mexico. Yeah, I'm not Mexican. Wait, what are you? <laughs> are you sure? No, I'm not. <laughs> she doesn't speak like that. It's funny. You guys have like a weird twang, and then she doesn't oh, yeah. sound we, like that. I do have a bit of a twang to my voice. Yeah, you guys got a, like a, I don't know how to say it, but Guatemalans kind of whine. You whine? Yeah. Hola? <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> like, I'll send you a clip of some poor Guatemalan lady, and she sounds funny. She's yeah, like, from so, Guatemala? Is that where your family's what from? What sentence to say? That's where oh, my okay. family's from, yeah. I'm actually, you know, it's funny. I'm first generation. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know any That's fucking well, Spanish. You came here- I'm first generation, also. Hey, high five. I'm second high gen. Five. My mom didn't want to teach me Spanish because oh. uh, she was like, no, I don't want you to learn more <laughs> Spanish than English. So she took me out of the bilingual program, so that's why I'm stuck. No, yeah, that's what yeah. my mom did, too. So that's why I can't. Ah, that's bullshit. I, can't really. I mean, I try yeah, my best to I, practice, but it's hard, it man. Spanish is uh, it's, it's complex. Yeah, because we're like we're wage slaves, yeah, so man. like we gotta I speak that Spanish. Work sometimes, I mean, but even though like I, I sound like a child talking in Spanish, dude, yeah. same. No, sometimes you get into like a how do you say a uh, a vibe, mm-hmm. a mood, like where where you're getting it good for a while, and then you fuck up, and then I just get nervous. Like you're really you're really stringing your words together and sounding coherent. And then, like, something happens and you're back to, like, your baby talk. Yeah, no, I get nervous when I'm, like, I get, like, intimidated when I'm, like, around, like, fluent Spanish speakers that will have, like, the accent and they roll the R good. And I'm, like, uh, Caro. And then they're, like, ha, ha, ha. You're just, like, please don't hurt me with your rolling R's. Please don't listen to me. (laughs) They just roll it. And I'm just, like, uh. Ah. (laughs) 
Bro, so like Annabelle the dog, yeah, right? Man. You think she speaks oh, Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she's bilingual? <laughs> Entonces Annabelle la, oh, la muñeca. Uh, um. <laughs> <clears throat> what? <laughs> but yeah, see, seeing the blood on the doll, that was that was the last straw. El sangre. <laughs> Seeing the sangre on the, what is on the, it? the hand, the manos, you know what I mean? So- and then they were like, they were <laughs> like, I wait. Sangre like, on los malos. And they were like, yeah, man, we gonna watch this. <laughs> on los manitas. Los manitas de Annabelle. They were like, I chingo. I, I guess you could say estaba embarrada de un líquido rojo como sangre en las manos, en las manos y el pecho. Something like that. Let's edit yeah, out all the Spanish attack. parts. I don't want to listen no, to myself. No, keep, like, keep mine. Keep mine. So y'all like can see. I'm having a panic attack. Ex- exposed. <laughs> She's like, I'm a true. So y'all can see my progress <laughs> in my Spanish. You, you speak better. <laughs> Bro, you're speaking better Spanish than the fucking first generation kid. <laughs> that's crazy. No, it's oh, all Jesus. good. It's all good. I mean, it helps that she uh, came as a child and knows very good English good yeah i don't even know very good english tbh i'm going to shit bro <laughs> you're like i'm not good at either language <laughs> yeah like if you speak both languages like you're not good at either well, yeah it's hard <laughs> like that's why i speak so much slang and make up words <laughs> like tang is that even a real no, word i didn't know what you guys were saying either. i don't know i just started I like, saying it tang? I'm, whatever i'm going with it like <laughs> i'll look yeah up, like, like i ju- i'm just very <laughs> I'm just very confident in my choice of words, <laughs> and I and it's like, yeah, I got a bit of a tang. So I, I don't mean, know if that's it. Like, you mean twang? Twang. Like, see, man, I don't know what the welcome. fuck I'm saying. You're welcome. Well, yeah, chief, go on. Slay. I'm fluent in English, and only that. That's that. Not even that well. No. Hey. hey. Be nice to me. I'm eighty. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> So Lou was fucking scared. Yeah. Man. <laughs> no, we're past Lou being oh, scared. Shit. Lou is very scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, microphone. I didn't mean to yell at you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, be nice to your microphone. He's trying hard. At this point, uh, they find blood on the doll, and that's when they decide to contact a medium, and that's where the medium tells them. That the that the doll inhabits a spirit called Annabelle Higgins that used to live in the apartments back when they were just fields, and because of like the you know the in and outs of like having an apartment, like it's mostly a bunch of young adults, like everyone's just like going to work eight twelve hours a day, coming home. I don't know what people did in the people in the seventies didn't have phones to scroll well, they did, but, like, house through phones. after work. Yeah, I guess they could talk to their friends. That seems, like, much more productive than just, like, looking at Instagram. I wish I could talk to my friends after work. (laughs) I feel like if I called them, they'd be like, what the fuck is this? How fucking dare you? You fucking boomer. Speak to me. Making me talk and shit. Call me on my cell phone. (laughs) me through the phone. Eventually, cell phones aren't even gonna have that That feature anymore. Yeah, it's all gonna be like. Eventually, we're gonna have to like listen to an ad before making a call. Oh Jesus, no! (laughs) Don't give Apple any ideas, dude. Don't fucking do it. They're like, no, we gotta scan your face before we can uh, make this call. Actually, the future the future is terrible. Actually. But I'm pretty sure whatever they were doing in the 70s, they didn't have time to mind no stand and doll. Or no doll that's uh, climbing up from the from like the window Whoa. to the floor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. Down her balls. Oh, these bitches Ski, 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 ski. Ski, 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 goddamn. Like, ain't nobody got Get time low. for that. Even in the 70s, no one had time for that bullshit. Exactly, man. <laughs> Yo, fuck that shit. Fuck right? being haunted. <laughs> that shit's scary. No one's got time to deal with that shit. No. Right? It was like, I have, I have to, like... to go and call a medium 
and have them come over to my apartment and pay them to give me a bunch of false information. Basically, that medium was a fucking scam. It's like, oh, it's yeah, that medium was a scam. Yeah, no, like no. she was just like, oh, her name is Annabelle Higgins. She Bitch. just wants. She's just lonely. Like, there's no kids to play with at the apartment, which I, which I doubt. I'm sure there's kids yeah, at the like, apartment. Yeah, right? to them. That's that. Like, let the kids be possessed. And there's that's fucking that. hella kids at apartments. Like, yeah, but like around. according to the medium, it was just like she she was like wandering about and she was excited to see a new doll to play with, and like all she wanted was permission to stay with them, which is a big no no. <laughs> and yeah, you know no. what they said? Mm-hmm. You know what An- Angie and Donna and not Lou? I'm assuming I don't know where Lou is in the story. He's 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 up at three and making pudding. <laughs> All right, <laughs> they said some dumb shit. <laughs> but uh, they they completely agreed to welcome the spirit into their home and treat it as their own child, uh... which I'm sure Lou hated the shit out of. <laughs> he's like, bitch. Really? <clears throat> Why can't we have normal children? Oh my god! Can you imagine? <laughs> He's just like, I'm a recovering heroin heroin addict with constant (laughs) sleep paralysis. I ain't got time to take care of a doll child. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, that shit's so stupid. Even if it was a doll child, like, why would you be like, yeah, totally, stay in this doll in my house. I didn't didn't give birth to you, ghost. Exactly. Why do I I pay child support for this thing? Like, what the hell? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't agree this to adopt this like, fucking am I gonna poltergeist. This? <laughs> this ain't my kid. My kid, take a DNA exactly, test. Exactly, man. Take it to Mori. <laughs> fucking ghost. Did they, did they have DNA tests in Mori <laughs> in the Mori 70s? I don't the know. 70s is like the fucking Middle Ages. I don't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> it fucking might as well have been. Ain't no cell phones. Ain't no podcasts. Ain't no <laughs> blue ain't disco snowball acid, microphones. That's, that's pretty lit. <laughs> People that just was did their drugs. Internet. What? <laughs> that was, that was no their technology, internet. drugs. Kids. <laughs> kids are doing drugs nowadays. They stay on those jewel pods. That's true. What the fuck? A jewel pod? No, <laughs> I'm a boomer. What the fuck is a jewel what? pod? E-cigarette. You don't know what that is? It's like a e-cigarette. Is it the vape? Yeah, but like with yeah. nicotine. Well, there's two kinds. Okay, hold on. Segway. No, okay. Haunted okay. jewels. No, there's two kinds. There's Haunted, oh fuck, haunted jewels? That could be a thing. Maybe later. They all explode in your face? Like androids. <laughs> Go on. They're, yeah, they're always out of battery, no matter <laughs> how much you charge them. But no, they're like, they're like the weed vapes, but not weed. But for fucking nicotine. It's like flavored reason. smoke. That seems like the, the crappier drug. Except it you is. don't get like, it's like anything. Oh, I'm kind it's of just dizzy. Like, Yay. Just smoke. That's it. What oh would you wow! Say? Like it doesn't get you anything. Like, like I guess like it de-stresses you. I, I I've never know, tried man. nicotine, bro. No, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to smoke no nothing. Well, I'm not trying to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, like I'm pretty <laughs> above the 20, influence bro, I here. See your <laughs> Here at the <laughs> Haunts R Us. Bro, was, no, no, no. I see you, homegirl. Here in the Don't Haunts R Us podcast, we condone being above the influence. Um, Just I say didn't... no. <laughs> 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 <That's> so um... weird. <laughs> so weird every day. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> A booming industry man it's gonna it's gonna fix our economy yeah I got, I got like relatives working in the weed industry they make really good money yeah dude i've low-key i've been trying to get into the weed industry but i don't think i'm dude move out. move over here right? Santa dude, Cruz is fucking Mecca. that's what i keep hearing <laughs> dude yeah I like right Riverside. here in right here in like the cent- the coast like it's the fucking mecca of like weed growing bro oh, god damn i thought riverside was it because we got what well, we had like a million that we had a million dispensaries but i don't know what happened but i guess they're cracking down on all of the dispensaries because there's like three in existence in the entire 92505 area yeah 
yeah. I have no idea. I'm not like in the loop of like dispensaries <laughs> because like I don't have any sort of like ailment or anything that requires weed. Oh, me neither. I was a library kid and like I high also... school. Like I ain't smoking weed. I'm sorry. I was the nah. skater kid. I hung out with a yeah, bad crowd. Man. I was the What's skater that? kid, so like you know I dabbled in those anime and, and the, the grass man it, it gets you there it does <laughs> yes. the trick gato is is the is the coolest kid here man <laughs> i would <laughs> she went to school for journalism yeah. and oh, she yeah. skates i'm between both she has guys. her own podcast but i haven't Take touched that in two years. oh jeez i'll send y'all a link later oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you think Annabelle would have done that? Nah, I dude, think so I'm... too. I think she needed that just to chill out. Like, why are you possessing this dude? Like, yeah, he's sinning, but so are you, homegirl. Sin some more by just smoking the devil's grass, and that's that. Uh, let's let's leave our wage slaves jobs and become mediums and just tell a bunch of lies. Down, Seriously. Tell horror score. I'll just tell everyone with a haunted doll. Uh, fucking. It's, it's the kid. Uh, it's just the kid. tell them what they want to yeah. hear. That's like that one. Oh my god. Have you guys seen that video of that medium uh, where uh, like this lady was like, oh, we can't find my son. So I just want to know where he is. And she's like, oh yeah, he drowned. And she's like, oh, he was in the Twin Towers when they went down. And he she's drowned. Like, no. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what she said. She's like, no, he drowned. <laughs> And they're like, like he went over, he saw the flames, he went over to the sink, and he like, was just like, that's that. Yeah. She's like, just, what? Straight up, like, with so much confidence, was just like, nah, he drowned. It's like, bitch, what the, f I mean, those people are stupid to begin with. Like, oh, where's our fucking, where's our son? It's like, he's in the rubble, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's too much. Uh, that was a bit much. Let's edit that out. Oh, jeez. Let's just leave it at, like, we don't trust mediums. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, because, God. Because of this story. Exactly. We really don't. Really don't trust them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Fuck, I'm mm -mm. sorry, guys. <laughs> but, uh, essentially, oh, they invited the demon into their home. And that's where the real damage for Lou happened. Lou seems to be the tragic character <laughs> in this story. Oh, man, that's why. <laughs> they punish him for being... Innocent bystander. The only one getting choked out. Yeah, the only one getting choked out here is Lou. <laughs> like... <laughs> that fucking sucks. Can you imagine you're dating some girl and her fucking doll chokes you? And not you? your girlfriend? <laughs> Can you imagine to that? kill you? <laughs> <laughs> For step one, having a girlfriend. Step one, to go in it, don't get in the house. He, she has a haunted doll that's gonna choke you out. <laughs> I'm just leaving. That's it. I'm like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, bro. That's that. But yeah. <laughs> Cringe, we're gonna lose some scratches. Oh, <laughs> I told we said at the beginning of this don't get cancelled and I got us cancelled. You just about? have to you just have to run in straight with like the 911 ship, just like whoa! Just run in straight with an, <laughs> with an extremely insensitive comment about someone who's Fucking child died in 9-11. Jesus. <sighs> Bro, we're at the one hour mark of this bullshit. I know. Yo. How long is this gonna go? So fuck yeah, mediums. Man, fuck mediums. Yeah, man, fuck mediums. Lou is getting a real bad yeah, deal out of this man. shit. Because Lou got like... Like, they were planning for like a nice little road trip. He was just like, I'm done with this bullshit. I don't want to talk about the haunted doll. I don't want to look at the haunted doll or have like I'm gonna have a nice road trip with my friend and or fiance and her <laughs> friend. I don't know. They don't specify about the other roommate too much. 
<laughs> she, she's she's somewhere. There. I'm assuming they're all going to a road trip together, which I guess the scandal is because it's like two girls and one guy unmarried going to a road trip together. I don't know what type of life these guys were living, man. Yeah, man. Like, y'all swingers or like what? Like, okay, no, nah, I got to possess y'all. They so have they're on a road trip. He's like... He has to go into into Donna's room real quick to get the map because they they didn't have GPS then it was the fucking dark ages. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor guy just I don't know I don't know how to read a map lads. <laughs> <laughs> like if I were to wake up in the seventies, I think I'd cry. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I know. You can't play. You can't play. Like you can buy a house, but you can't play Roblox. What's the point? (laughs) You can buy a house with your Walmart job. I could. I could buy a house in Roblox working at a pizza. So Roblox is better. (laughs) Yeah, we had one day of work in Roblox, and we already have a house. I want to live in Roblox. Okay, I'm reading. I right, read. Yeah, preparing for the road trip the next day. Lo was reading over the maps in the apartment. The apartment seemed really quiet. Suddenly, rustling sounds coming from Donna's room aroused fear that someone had possibly broken into the apartment. Lou detected, determined to figure out who or what. It was quiet. <sighs> I'm fucking sorry. Edit that out. <laughs> So Lou, being the the strong man in here, like goes and checks it out. What he see? <laughs> he goes into the room, right? Huh? And he turns on the light. Huh? And it's Annabelle. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> She's tossed. Ew. On the floor. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> no. Annabelle, what? Annabelle, you wild and out, yeah, sir. She a freak. Thinking, <laughs> so she's tossed on the floor in a corner. And he looked around to see if like there was any force entry, but like obviously there's nothing around except for like the haunted ass doll in the corner that he hates. <laughs> His new child. Yeah. <laughs> Paying child support for that dog. Oh, Not even Jesus. taking it on the road trip. <laughs> you can't take trips when you have a child. <laughs> yeah, man. Just leave it at home. <laughs> Just leave my haunted dog child at home. Oh, shit. That's why she was mad. Yeah, man. So, understandably, our haunted dog child is very upset with Lou. So much soul that he found himself grabbing for his chest, doubling over, cut and bleeding. His shirt was stained with blood. Upon opening his shirt there was on his chest, there was what looked like to be seven distinct marks, three vertically and four hor- horizontal- horizontally. <laughs> you speak English really good. So there were seven, seven distinct claw marks and three, three vertical and four horizontal. All of them were hot like burns. These scratches healed almost immediately. Very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> no evidence, huh? And half were gone by the next day and fully gone by day two. So <laughs> two. <laughs> so you know, very convenient. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a bunch of baloney. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of baloney. <laughs> so at that at that point, like Donna goes over to her local church and she tells him to like bless her house. And the priest goes and contacts a friend of his who contacts the Warrens. And when the Warrens came and checked it out, they were pretty convinced that yo. This is not the spirit of a young girl. This here's a demon, see? And the purpose of a demon is that it's just waiting for a vessel. 
So I was just waiting for y'all. Possibly Lou, because she really didn't like Lou. <laughs> she was waiting to possess one of them and possibly kill them within within the next couple of days. That's what the Warrens told them. That's some pretty scary stuff. Mm, that's to, a tell, to tell a sinful, unmarried... <laughs> <laughs> get them to fucking be pure and holy They're yeah like, oh, listen you're fucking doing drugs and having sex it's a demon <laughs> it's a demon y'all and yeah obviously after hearing that super scary news uh they told them to keep the doll because that seems like the logical conclusion uh, like I, yeah, we're not keeping it clearly. Yeah, you keep the doll so you can make money off of it at your museum. You keep the doll so you could rack in millions of dollars Jeez. and give us nothing. Not a dang thing. Well, I don't know. Maybe they do on the down low, but like, we don't know that though. That's not public record. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I kind of. I kind of doubt, like, the validity of, like, this whole story. Yeah. Like, supposedly when they were, like, driving back, Annabelle was, like, taking the wheel. Not, like, physically. Like, you know how, like, Jesus takes the wheel? Yeah. But, like, a, an evil demon ghost takes the wheel and, like, causes, like, some near accidents until... <clears throat> what's the name of the man? The husband? Yeah, what's oh. the name of the... Uh. Ed. Ed. It wasn't until, like, Ed turned around and, like, sprinkled some holy water on that bitch that she finally calmed herself down. But anyways, the Warrens takes the, take the doll home and, like, she goes on with, like, her creepy bullshit. Just, like, levitating <laughs> on, like, chairs and just, like, moving around and, like, teleporting. And then just, like, we gotta do something about this fucking doll, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at one point, one of their priest friends came over and he saw the doll... And he was just like, yo, this is a rag doll. <laughs> he was us, basically. What are you fucking talking about that there's a demon in here? Yeah, like, really, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> this thing? Just like, for real? This one? <laughs> just like... <laughs> this actual Raggedy Ann doll. <laughs> this for real Raggedy Ann doll. So he, like, picks up the doll and he's just like... You can't do anything, Annabelle. You're a fucking doll. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Rookie mistake. That also kind of makes me question the validity of this. Like, you have a priest friend, and <laughs> your priest friend sees a fucking demon ghost, and is like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Like, y'all for real right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, either, either your boy doesn't actually believe in Jesus, or, or he's really fucking dumb. I don't know, because, uh, I'm Catholic. I was raised Catholic. I'm still practicing Catholic, I would say. I had, like, a Satanism phase. That was, like, a kind of an attention-seeking behavior. I'm mm. past that. <laughs> we all had those phases. One, the emo phase. Specifically if you're Catholic, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> you just want to get like... the sin in. I feel like you 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 become like a Satanist for like three months as a teenager <laughs> only if you're like a Catholic goth. Like, well. that's just part of the process. <laughs> <laughs> it's just par for the course. But where was I going with this? <laughs> oh yeah, um, oh no, because he's stupid. Like he's in the church and he's like, I don't know. Let me just make fun of this ghost. Hey, yeah, because like at my ghost demons demon friend's house. Demons are, like, mostly, at least nowadays, seen as, like, mostly, like, metaphorical. Like, a demon is, like, a vice. Like, gambling or alcoholism or addiction. Like, that is what's considered your demons. It takes more of a, like, metaphorical approach as opposed to, like, a physical entity or anything that could harm you. But, like, um... Every denomination is a little bit different. And, and like, every every pastor preaches something different. But from the times I've gone to church, and there's been, like, occasional mentions of demons, unfortunately, like, unfortunately for the Japanese, there really isn't that much talk about, like, demons and angels in church. 
Unfortunately for the Japanese. Yeah, unfor- <laughs> yeah, because they love that fucking Catholic aesthetic. They're oh, just like yeah. exorcisms, fighting fucking <laughs> demons and angels and shit. And no, it's fucking boring. It's a little bit more boring than that shit. It's more like <laughs> soup kitchens and Sunday school. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't there a fucking? There's a... Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> There's a hospital game where you basically just fucking bring people back to life via spells. Do you play as like a nun? No, a sexy nun. No, you literally play as a doctor on a like doctor. his first day. Don't make yeah, fun of me. Crazy sounds crazy, man, with that new season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that new season. Oh, I think the latest anime I saw that had, like, big, like, Catholic <laughs> demons is, like, Blue Exorcist. Um, but that was only for, like, the first couple of episodes, and then it just turned into Harry Potter. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah Blue Exorcist is cool. Check it out. Fam. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, check it out. <laughs> they, I'm they trying got... to be hip with the kids. Hey. Yo, it's litty. It's, it is lit, as the children say it. <laughs> yo, Fellow children, low key. watch Blue Exorcist, the anime. <laughs> you will enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know, I've liked the... I've liked the anime that you've suggested to me so far. Yeah. You only suggested one anime. <laughs> I suggested you one, and it was an adult-only anime. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Liked it very much. But it was really good, though, right? I did. <laughs> I mean, that adult-only anime was really good, I thought. It's, That's why I recommended it to a, you. <laughs> as an aged well, I don't think. It's, uh, oh, goodness. it's pretty old. I think that one was made in the 70s. That was oh, the same time Annabelle was around. See? <laughs> the Full same circle. time Boku no sexual harassment. Oh, oh. <laughs> I recommend it. And maybe that was the 80s. Huh? I think Boku no sexual harassment was the 80s. I don't know. <laughs> they look, they're dressed like from the 90s. Anyway... <laughs> We can't look this up. We can't. We cannot. No, no. It's already on my history. <laughs> it's like sponsored by Toyota or something because they had like brand cars. Anyway, speaking of cars, oh, after yeah. after mocking the animal doll. Like, the priest almost got in an accident. Like, his car was completely totaled. He was safe. But he told the Warrens that when he looked at his at like his window, he saw Annabelle in the back seat, oh, and ew. it freaked the shit out of him. Yeah. No, th- oh, I hate that. I'm re- dude. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but I'm still. I just ugh. I think I watch too many horror movies because I can't look in my rearview mirror without thinking like, oh shit, there's gonna be something there. <laughs> it's gonna pop up. It's gonna get me. I mean, I go to work at like 3 a.m. and I'm just like, just don't look at the. There's like no fucking cars. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Just go. <laughs> you don't put your blinker on or nothing, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. Dude, <laughs> don't stop me. The police will. <laughs> the police are sleepy. They're at the coffee shop. Oh yeah, they're at Starbucks getting their fucking frappuccino. They're not. They're not on the route of me going to Panera to bake some bread. <laughs> We're not open yet. No, no. <laughs> oh, that's why you work at four in the morning. I forgot you're a baker. Match. Not at Panera, but I do bake bread. <laughs> Yo, Panera sucks. I used to work there. <laughs> Their fucking cheddar cheese. No, their fucking broccoli cheddar came in a bag in the shipment. <laughs> looks yeah, like, man. Looks like dog shit. And I said that one time. <laughs> and they almost yeah, fired you just, me. You just like boil it, right? And then you serve yeah, it. You don't even boil yeah. it. You just like put it, you leave it in the bag in a fucking pot of hot water. 
Yeah, yeah. We do the same thing in the deli. You just, oh, like, shit. put it in, like, boiling water yeah. and just, like, hope for the best. It's like, it's been there long enough, right? <laughs> We're good. <laughs> no thermometer, nothing. Yeah, no thermometer, nothing. We just, like, eyeball it. We're just like, <laughs> it looks, it looks hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of steam coming out. It's good. Like, it's boiling. We're fine. <laughs> Oh my god. No, man, that priest is dumb. It's like, mm. I don't know. That also kind of makes me question the validity of it. I think I said that already, but like, you're a priest and you have uh, ghost hunting friends? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we all have our like eccentric friends. I guess. I don't know. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I'm your friend. It's just you. <laughs> It's, it's just you and by extension Gato. <laughs> yeah. Who's my friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I said by extension. Gato, you're my friend, right? We're friends, I'll right? You. We're family. <laughs> we're family, no? <laughs> yeah, we're we're family by marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get along with my own blood family members, bro. Dog. Me neither. <laughs> If my family members had a haunted ghost, I'd be like, man, I hope it kills you. <laughs> I hope she choked you out. Hope she choked you out, Lou. <laughs> I'm gonna curse one of my dolls and give it to my cousin. It's gonna be great. Oh, well, that brings into question, uh, it's, uh, believed in, like, the Catholic religion, at least, that, uh, Items, objects, toys, and stuff can't be possessed. Only people can be possessed. Was it Lou? So let me bring up the notes right here. Yeah, spirits did not possess inanimate objects like houses or toys. They possess people. An inhuman spirit can attach itself to a place or object. And this is and this is what occurred in the an and this is what occurred in the animal case. So the spirit was manipulating the doll and created the illusion of it being alive in order to get to gain recognition. So it's like, pay attention to me, give me your energy. Uh, the spirit was not looking to stay attached to the doll. It was definitely looking for like a host to possess, which I guess in this case would be Lou, because Lou seems to be getting the pretty yeah. like shit end of the stick here. Maybe it was a like it was just like I don't want the two lady bodies. Yeah, maybe it was like in Hereditary where they want. <laughs> Oh shit, I gave away the ending. Oh fuck, spoilers! Oh, we fucking cut that off. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's just like in Hereditary. Oh! And then end of sentence. <laughs> it's just like in and Hereditary. Then... <laughs> <sighs> so what about you guys? Do you guys believe, like, that demon possession is a thing? Yes. <laughs> what about you, Gato? Does sleep paralysis count? What? Does the sleep paralysis count? Sleep paralysis. You said demons, <laughs> right? Some, some demons. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like at least possession. Yeah, because like, I like, don't feel like you get possessed when you have sleep paralysis. Uh, your brain gets possessed. I mean, in a way, yeah, your brain is. Like, I, I would say you're more haunted, but like in a way, it does feel kind of possessed because you can't move your body. You only feel. Man, I don't know. know if I believe so. in like being possessed by a demon. To be honest, have I? Like I feel like a lot of like a big exorcist cases came after like the exorcist came out, uh, and yeah. like I read the book The Exorcist, and like one of the one of the like big overall themes about The Exorcist is that is that like it's like a Fight Club. You don't talk about exorcism. Cause then you'll then you'll get possessed by a demon. Oh jeez. <laughs> then you'll you don't talk to people about exorcism or its symptoms because then people will have like a phantom exorcism where they'll be so spooked that they'll imitate the symptoms. Oh. So like a placebo I mean, effect. Yeah. So like I mean, the that overall. Sounds kinda right. Yeah, because like the overall theme in the book, at least I remember rewatching the movie a while ago. I watched like the director's cut, but it was like fucking long as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was just like, yo, when do we get to the good parts? What the fuck is this? I don't remember this movie being so damn long. <laughs> yeah, cinema was different then. Uh, I think movies move a lot faster now for, like, our tiny, dumb brains. Yeah. They really do. <laughs> yeah, man. Horror movies are trash nowadays. They're just like, oh, check it. This is the haunted thing. <clears throat> Haunch. Haunch. There it is. There it is. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, but, like, the whole theme the and, like, at least the book The Exorcism was that Father Karras, like, was losing his faith. And, like, he gets brought up this case about exorcism, and he's just like, this shit, fake as hell. And then he see, and then he visits Reagan, and sees, like, all the symptoms that she's, that she's been, uh, that she has, and he's just like, yo, this shit real. <laughs> so, that, that's the cliff notes saw, of exorcist. He saw her face. All you kids in high school, write that down for your book report. <laughs> yeah, because they're reading the exorcist in high school. I read The Exorcist in high school. No, I mean, for a freaking class? Yeah, for what? summer school. I read The Exorcist for summer school, bro. Oh my god. I'm stupid. I always went to summer school. Yeah, oh my god. That's Plus, what... I liked going I liked going to summer school because I didn't have any friends oh. who lived near me. No, so, it like, hurts. if I went to summer school, I got to talk to my friends. Well. Because my friends were also stupid. <laughs> Man, I would have I paid attention so much more in English if we were reading The Exorcist. Yeah, man. No, we were in fucking... It was summer English. Oh. Like, if you take summer classes, it's like the fun version what? of the you class. Would, you would think that that's not the fun version. Because in, like, cartoons and shit, they're like, oh, God, I gotta go to summer school. Boo. Summer school. I remember, like, learning chess in summer school, and then, like, talking about, like, Dragon Ball Z, Is it just... and, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! with, like, my classmates. That sounds like it's just a fucking daycare after school program. <laughs> yeah, dude! Yo, low key. My parents made sure I purposely failed class yeah, so they wouldn't have say... to fucking pay for daycare. They were just like, no, we're gonna make sure this kid's dumb as hell, they have to take a subject, I don't care <laughs> if they pass, this kid's going to fucking <laughs> summer school. I am not going to pay for like five meals a day for this hungry <laughs> goblin you guys gotta feed her let the government feed her <laughs> let the government give her food no no <laughs> well, no dude you know what i think that's the pro strat i think that's what i'm gonna do with my kids too i'm gonna make sure they go to summer school <laughs> it's gonna dumb down your kids yeah it's gonna make like... them watch spongebob all day <laughs> tell it to me it'll still be running oh shit yeah, dude, I don't know about possessions. That's, yeah, I feel like this, yeah, I feel like all of the, the things of, pose the, the cases of possession are just, like, some bitch being crazy. Or, like, uh, someone who's hyper-religious. So, like, what you said is just, they were thinking about exorcisms, Ooh. and then we're like, oh, shit, maybe I'm exercised, or shit, or shit, maybe I'm possessed, I think about boys, I'm possessed. Coochie. Please pay attention to me. Yeah, or that. <laughs> you know, we all have we we all have our, like our weird phase, our weird attention seeking phase in high school. Some of us worship Some the devil. Some of us get possessed. Some of us get possessed. No, dude, you don't even worship the devil and Satanism. It's just like edgy atheism. <laughs> edgy atheism, bro. That was me though. <laughs> it's just edgy atheism, dude. bro. Like, don't even. We're like, yo, don't even bother cool, with bro. that shit, dude. <laughs> I feel if like my kid came up and be like, "I'm a Satanist," I'd be like, "Ooh, he's a little Satanist." <laughs> Tip your fedora. <laughs> Ooh, what's wrong? Are you offended? <laughs> Isn't it in one of your pillars that I have the right to offend <laughs> you specifically, <laughs> my lady? <laughs> Just out goth your child. <laughs> out goth your child. <laughs> Fucking bleed black. <laughs> <laughs> An upside down cross on your forehead. Oh, jeez. Like, These Dude, bands are trash. Bro, I'm so, like, un-Catholic that, what is it? Ash Wednesday or some shit? I don't know what it's called. 
but some yeah ash wednesday some, around easter yeah yeah some i was yeah. at the mall and some people i guess had come back from service and they had some things on their forehead i straight up thought that like i was about to get shot up and like this was the new manson family <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know who the fuck what the fuck was happening Man, the cool thing about, like, Ash Wednesday is that, like, you're supposed to have, like, the the sermon and then do, like, the ash. But it's, like, most people are just like, I just got off work. Put that shit on my forehead. I'm leaving. <laughs> I got shit to do. I, got- I gotta go to Burger Burger King and order a fish sandwich. <laughs> oh, you, you can't eat meat. Oh, my God. Yeah, unless you forget. Unless <laughs> <laughs> you forget. I mean... You just ask for forgiveness, right? <laughs> that sounds pretty chill. Better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission and all that. Yeah, Gato, were you raised? Were you raised? <laughs> were you raised, raised Catholic? Uh. Wait, what? You cut off. Uh. <laughs> were you raised Catholic? Oh, yeah, I was. And it wasn't until... Like, when I, like, hit puberty, like, around 13, that was when I went through my AG atheist phase. Bro, but, like, speaking of which, like, the Warrens have been making, like, bank off of, like, the Animal doll. Like, I was, we were, like, looking this up. There's, uh, in October coming up, there's, uh, how do you say, oh, an God. event. <laughs> it's, like, a banquet. And it's, like, a banquet with, like, a buffet dinner. Where, like, they go over, like, videos and shit about Annabelle, and at the end you get to see Annabelle herself, and it costs, like, $160 Dude. a ticket. It's fucking too much. Yeah, let me let me find the contract, because I love oh, no. the contract that you have to sign. I remember it, bro. <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, they, oh, they have to mention in their contract that there's gonna be a nice buffet, and that you're gonna eat it. <laughs> you're gonna eat these and then you're gonna eat this buffet and you're gonna fucking like it yeah. hold on let me find it dude it's fucking too much and then the picture that they have on there is so fucking funny it's just Annabelle with fucking Halloween decorations around her yeah we <laughs> saw like a very short video of like the of them presenting the doll and it's her and her and like a little glass case i don't think she's in her portal potty or was she in her portal no, potty she, she's in her, her portal potty yes <laughs> yeah her, it's uh, a soaked in demon. holy water for for extra comfort I just know. need the moistness <laughs> in the wood <laughs> you, need, you need to keep her moist <laughs> jesus for her skin, she chafes. Yeah, man, she chafes. She needs the moisturizer. <laughs> Jesus. It's so silly. It's just, I don't know. Like, as much as I want to believe There's, it. Like, you were saying they had, like, these little, like, Halloween plastic gates in front of her. It's just so cheesy. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just decorations that I have in my room. Like, <laughs> I bought those at Michael's. <laughs> They bought it at Michael's. You get that shit at, like, the fucking Dollar Tree, bro. Dude, with the fucking coupon, you can buy them. Like, it's it's so freaking cheap. I don't know. It, it's very try-hard. Like, you would think that actual, uh, like, paranormal experts would be very, like, scientific about it. And be like, yeah, this is the fucking doll. We have her in a fucking, I don't know, a glass speaker. It wouldn't be, like, very campy, I yeah. feel like. Like as there's m- there's like a couple of YouTube videos of like small tours of the of the museum and it's all very like it's a bit campy. Yeah. There's like Halloween decorations everywhere. Like uh, aesthetic, but... yeah, but you're supposed to be taken <laughs> seriously. Like Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit hokey. Yeah. I mean like it, I don't know. I mean if they're like serious about, like, the haunted stuff and, like, they really want to help people, then, like, go on and, like, make your money because you can't do that shit for free all the time, yeah. you know? But, I mean, it's, like, it's a little cheesy, yeah. I think. I don't know. Well... Like, they got, like, a bunch of Halloween decorations. I mean, uh, I... Annabelle herself has, like, a red light Oh, yeah, she does her. have red light over Yeah. It's, like, she... <laughs> do you think people, like, came to the thing and were, like, she's not spooky enough, I want my money back? Yeah, clearly, 
This this raggedy Ann doll isn't spooky enough. No. <laughs> this raggedy Ann doll that choked people out, supposedly, is not spooky enough. Hmm, hold on, I'm trying to find the contract, because I love that contract. It's very good. I think, did you send it to me? Hold on. It should be on the website. Uh, home, Annabelle story, event calendar, there you go. There you go. Yeah, the New England Society for Fi- for Psychic Research, an evening with Annabelle. Hold on. Let me find the contract. Go to, because I really like the contract. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. I blank hereby agree to the following release from liability while attending an event entitled An Evening with Annabelle. The event is to be held on October 26, 2019. Mark your calendars. <laughs> will include a buffet di- dinner, several videos detailing the story of Annabelle the Cursed Doll, and a video of tour of the Warren's Occult Museum. The event will also feature the real Annabelle doll and several occult items. Although the doll will be housed in a protective cabinet made, a- made from wood and plexiglass, I hereby absolve the New England Society of Psychic Research, the restaurant facility, in case you get haunted by the chef. <laughs> I get it's the chef's fault. <laughs> and owner, staff, Tony Sparrow and Lorraine, Lorraine Warren from any liability or traumatic influence associated with the viewing of the items or being in the presence of Annabelle and or occult items. I agree that I am attending this event with clear understanding that I will do so at my own risk. And... All attendees must provide sign release form as well as receipt receipt upon entry. So you gotta print this shit out, put your name on it, agree to have a nice buffet dinner. Yo, don't complain. (laughs) I I don't want to hear that you're vegan or that you're lactose intolerant. You We're here to see shit. Annabelle. Annabelle decides what you're going to eat today. <laughs> We're here to see the queen. And you can't blame the chefs <laughs> the or our food. staff. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to eat what Annabelle gives you. <laughs> she specifically picked out this. It's just a bunch of candy. <laughs> it's like, I don't care if you got cavities. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking eat it up, bitch. <laughs> Dude, it's so sad. Wait a minute. Did you say that it was a video tour? Of- yeah, you don't Dude, even you go don't into go. the actual fucking museum. Dude, what a scam. Don't even go to the $160, museum. $160, lads. Dude, just to see a fucking Raggedy Ann doll. I could go to, to the decrepit Toys R Us. And, find, and no find longer what, here. No, I. Was, Where are you gonna find a Toys R Us? It's gonna be an Annabelle doll. It's gonna be sitting You're right there. You're going to go to an antique hobby store. Nah, dude, I'll go to and the, find Annabelle. Nah, I'm gonna go to the closed down one, and it's still gonna be there, a Raggedy Ann doll, because nobody bought it. It's gonna be there. Mm. I'll tell you. Well, on top of that, of course, the movies, the movie, Annabelle. the private museum, which is smart because like they don't gotta pay rent. On, like, an actual museum and show space. It's just in their own damn house. Yeah. That's that's cheap. Yeah, man. Who? They got, like, supposedly on this one video I heard, like, they had, like, lectures that went for, like, $5,000. Jesus. It's, like, back in, like, their heyday when they were, like, really big, they'd be able to charge that much. $5,160. That's a deal. <laughs> That's a deal, folks. A steal. You're losing money if you don't go to see Annabelle. <laughs> and you get a buffet, boy. <laughs> and you get a buffet. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure those 160 bucks are just going towards the fucking buffet. <laughs> You're like, yo, this better just be the steak. caterers. <laughs> the caterers probably like. Like, they like... do this shit every year. <laughs> They're just like, the Annabelle people are back. She's like, all oh, right. <laughs> We're gonna... It's like the usual. It's like yeah, just a bunch of that broccoli soup, that yeah. garbage. Just boil that shit, you know, from the bag. Just fucking microwave it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! 
<laughs> you want to go to it? It's all the way in fucking New England, bro. Fucking the Patreon. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're starting a GoFundMe. <laughs> no. We no, not. dude. <laughs> GoFundMe. We want to go see Annabelle. <laughs> We want to see. I do not want to see Annabelle. We want to see them fucking ghosts, dude. I don't know. Like it's so hard because, like, it's like on the one hand, it's like, yeah, I've been haunted before for show, but on the other hand, I'm like, I don't believe any of the shit that y'all fucking say. (laughs) This this shit sounds absolutely bananas. No, that sounds fake. Like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> low, uh, maybe I'm just being stupid because I'm like, well, you didn't experience it the way that I experienced it, so therefore it's fake. So it's probably not a great way to think about it. But Yeah, I don't think any of us have ever have ever have to deal with a curse doll. Yeah. There's a difference, lad. This is true. It wasn't a curse doll. But I'm sure our audience has. Oh. <laughs> If any of you guys have any stories about, like, haunted dolls that you've heard of from, like, someone's cousin's friends, because that's always how these these things travel, email us at... What's our email? Oh, shit. (laughs) What's our email? Oh, God. (laughs) Our fucking email! Where is it? (laughs) I think it's hauntsrs at gmail, but let me double check. Gmail... It is. Yeah. Haunts are us at Gmail. Don't even have to put podcasts on there. We got it. Oh, am I saying? Yeah. Haunts right. are us. <laughs> at haunts are us at Gmail. That's haunts are us at Gmail. H A U N T S R U S at gmail.com. <laughs> Hit us up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm crying. <laughs> For what? You did great. Yay! All right. I think that's it for today. I'm your host, Cheeb. And you are? <laughs> I'm Thotty. I'm Gato. Follow us on Haunt Saw Us on Instagram, on Tumblr. We might be getting a Twitter coming up soon. We'll see. Yo, hit us up on Venmo. Dude. Would any of you guys like to plug your social media? Uh, I want these oh, degenerates shit, to bitch. stay away from you. Oh no, stay away from me. <laughs> okay. I don't need any of them to recognize me from my... On Twitter, man. Follow me on at Gato Toby. Yeah, follow Gato Toby on Twitter. The rest of us are anonymous. Don't fucking talk to us. <laughs> you don't need to know If me. you want to fucking talk to us, you go to our email. And say hi. <laughs> Send us all kinds of spam, dude. Yes, and the, we will read all of it. Yeah, we I'll click on all we those have links. nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. Send me some emails, Yo, please. Send, send me some penis enlargement pills, please. <laughs> I need them, <laughs> bro. What is the end? for my what? for my giant for my magnum tall. <laughs> Your haunted Magnum Dong from the future. Alright, thank you for joining us on this mess of our first episode. We promise we won't (laughs) always be this bad. Alright, I love you. Good night. Bye. (laughs) Get that demon shit out of here. (laughs) Keep the demons out. Demonios afuera. Afuera los demonios. Yo, go do sins and get some demons. Yeah, do not invite evil spirits into your home. Or do. Uh, so don't live with your unmarried partner, obviously. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's the theme of the story. Thank you for listening to the very first episode of Haunts R Us. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, I'm going to sleep in, boys. <laughs> All right, bye.